Today on Running to Him. Like Israel and Judah, we are choosing evil over our walk with God. We must repent or face the consequences. Today's reading is Hosea chapter 12, and we will concentrate on verses 1 and 2. Hosea 12, 1 and 2 says, Ephraim feeds on wind and pursues the east wind continually. He multiplies lies and violence. Moreover, he makes a covenant with Assyria, and oil is carried to Egypt. The Lord also has a dispute with Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways, pay him according to his deeds. Now, has a Christian walk with God in the United States been perfect? Well, the short answer to that question is no. But at no time in our history has the United States been so devoid of respect for spiritual things. From the time of the pilgrims, the population which became the United States citizenry had an understanding that God was important. Over the years, they at least gave lip service to the idea that God was an important factor in their lives. But even from the beginning, blemishes were showing up in their walk with God. Slavery was legal in all but four states at the time the Constitution was signed in 1789. These states were Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. The slavery laws followed by the United States were certainly contrary to biblical teaching, yet those in the South continued their beliefs that they were good Christians. In the 1960s, Ohio had the largest chapter of the Ku Klux Klan, and it wasn't until the Supreme Court ruled in the case of Brown v. the Board of Education in 1954 that segregated schools were outlawed. In the late 1960s, the most radical demonstrations against the busing of school children was in Massachusetts. Today we are faced with social disorder never seen in our country before. Bands of people openly stealing without any fear of punishment. People are convinced that the right to an abortion is built into health care. And universities, as well as lower grade schools, are teaching that racism may be cured through segregating the population by race. There is enough evidence in our daily lives to show that we as a nation no longer care about our facade of Christianity, that we are casting off all vestiges of our past. Units of the Civil Air Patrol participate in the laying of wreaths on graves of deceased servicemen and women. The organizations who plan this activity are careful not to place a wreath on a grave with a marker, which designates that the service member was a member of a different religion even though the wreaths are laid for remembrance rather than religion. Yet an organization which says it values religious liberty has regularly fought for the removal of Christian and other religions from the military. We are not founded as a Christian nation, and although all of the founders at least profess some kind of religion based on the Bible, throughout our history we sought to honor God in some way. But with the loss of any foundation based on Judeo-Christian principles, we are tumbling towards destruction. We need to heed Hosea's words and individually repent and return to a walk with God through Christ. That's the only way we will survive as a nation. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.